It's the end of the world as we know it, and I feel fine. Let's get out of here. Aye. Hey, everybody. It's Aaron from God a Minute, and what we have here is a trifecta, if you will. I'm going to call this a trifecta. Uh, a trifecta is when you bet on three horses to place first, second, and third. It's a very, very specific bet. The odds are astronomically low to figure it out. What I think we have here is a trifecta of events in, in the Bible. In the first three books of the Bible, we got the theme of the rapture, and it all plays out. It all checks out pretty nice. Do I know when the rapture is? No. Do I know what year it is? No. Do I like guessing and studying? Yes. Should you study? Yes. I think you should. So this is going to be a little bit of an encouraging video. It's going to show and solidify some uh, rapture thoughts. And uh, so here we go. A little bit of a recap. Genesis 24 is essentially about a marriage. Uh, Abraham is a type of the father. Isaac is a type of Christ. And Eliezer, the servant of Abraham, is a type of the Holy Spirit. At the beginning of Genesis 24, Abraham says to Eliezer, hey, can you get my son a bride? Uh, Eliezer goes and gets Rebecca, essentially, is the long story short. Rebecca says, I will go, and they get married. So we got a marriage in Genesis 24. In Exodus 24, in the, other, the other video that we just did yesterday, we talked about a heavenly scene room. And in that heavenly scene room in Exodus 24, 2024 Genesis 24 2024 we've got a heavenly scene room Moses Aaron Nadab Abinu plus 70 they see God and they eat and they drink and they sit on a sapphire um, stone they, they they see the foundation and that seems to indicate but through Ezekiel chapter 1 that the heavenly throne room is a sapphire has a sapphire stone a division of time and then when, when you read the book of Revelation it says a sea of glass, which is very likely, in my opinion, the sapphire stone talked about in Exodus 24. These guys didn't go up the mountain without sprinkling the blood on them. The blood of Jesus gets you into the heavenly scene room, the marriage supper of the Lamb. Let's go! Leviticus 24, very exciting stuff. I, uh, it talks about the seven... Um, the seven lamp stands and uh, in, Gen in Leviticus 24. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Command the children of Israel that they bring to you pure oil of pressed oils for the light to uh, make the lamps burning continually outside the veil of the testimony in the tabernacle of the meeting of Aaron shall be in charge of it from evening until morning from the Lord continually. It shall be a statue forever in your generations. He shall be in charge of the lamps on the pure gold lampstand before the Lord continually. We got the lampstands, but we're going to read Revelation in a second. But we have the we have the uh, the care of the tab tabernacle lamps. Then we got the bread of the tabernacle, and then we have the penalty for blasphemy. If you blaspheme, you're getting stoned, man. It's this time of separation, it's time of destruction. You're gonna be a lampstand, or you're gonna get stoned. You're gonna be in heaven, or you're gonna be cast outside the camp. Oh, wow! I, don't know. I, I want to be a lampstand. I want to be a lampstand because that's what it says in the book of Revelation. Okay, so what does it say in the book of Revelation? We're going to sum it up here. We're going to make it fast, snappy. Here we go. Revelation 5, verse 6. And I looked, and behold, in the midst of the throne and of the four living creatures, and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as though it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth. So he's got the seven spirits of God. What are the seven spirits of the God of God? Revelation four verse five. And from the throne proceeded lightnings and thunderings and voices and seven lamps of fire were burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. So wait a second. The seven spirits of God are with the Lamb before He opens the scroll and, and before He opens the seals. The seven spirits of God are with the Lamb before He opens the seals. The seven spirits of God are with the Lamb before He opens the seals. The seven spirits of God are with the Lamb before He opens the seals. They are the seven lamps of fire. 
Revelation 1.20, the mystery of the seven stars which you saw in my right hand are the seven golden lampstands. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven lampstands which you saw are the seven churches. So the seven lampstands, when they're lit, are with the Lamb before he opens the scroll. The seven lampstands, before they are lit, and when they are lit, in Revelation 4, verse 5, after they're lit, they are with the Lamb when he opens the scroll. The, the seven lampstands are the seven churches. When they're lit, they're in the throne room, and they're with the Lamb before he opens the seals. The seals are opened after the seven spirits of God are with the Lamb. The churches are with the Lamb before he opens the seals. So, going back to Leviticus, chapter 24, we got the seven churches described right off the bat in Leviticus 24. That's cool. If you ain't in a lampstand and you're blaspheming the name of Christ, which basically, if you don't accept Christ, you're in trouble. You're going to be cast out in stone. This is a heavenly situation, folks. Get tight with Christ. That's my thing. I don't know if he's coming in 24, but the pattern is there. The trifecta is there. I'm going to show you again the trifecta. The first book of the Bible, we got a marriage in Genesis 24. The longest chapter of the Bible. The most reference of the word camel in the Bible. Camel coming from the word gamel. Exodus, a heavenly scene room. These gentlemen get up there by the sprinkling of the blood on themselves. Leviticus 24, the seven churches are represented, the lamps. So if we were to tell a story, there's going to be, if there might be, this is how it's going to be. There might be a marriage in 2024 where we are in the heavenly scene room and the seven churches are represented in Leviticus 24. Now, if you read Isaiah 24 and among other chapters, you're going to see so much destruction Isaiah 24. Oh my goodness, it's rough to read. Man, it looks like judgment is coming. Guys, I do not know when Christ is coming. I do not know. But I see a pattern here. And I think you see a pattern now. I pray that you get tight with Christ. You enter into a relationship with Him. You accept the free gift of salvation. Jesus died on the cross for you. It's only through His blood alone. That gets you into the heavenly sea. Hope to see you soon. One day closer. See you in the clouds. Go Jesus, go. Hallelujah, I'll see you.